middle eight is designed for people who want to live in the city rather than just stay in it. Mm -hmm. And being situated right in the heart of London in Covent Garden, there's a lot of local bus and we try to replicate some of that within the hotel. Mm -hmm. So on a Friday you could be here listening to the DJ downstairs in the bar and having a real good dance and giggle, whilst on a Monday you might just have a, a three-course meal in the restaurant or pop by for tea and coffee, watch the world go by, or just pop in for an afternoon tea whilst you're shopping. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's been served right here where we're situated in the balcony at the moment. We have a bus in the restaurant in the bar and the quiet balcony here lends itself to just smaller meetings, popping in, just relaxing. As even if you're local, you just pop in and enjoy the hotel. That's, mm -hmm. that's what we're wanting to do and that's what we're wanting to replicate. Our design and amenities are where we make the stay more memorable. Ultimately, even for the hotel guests, they can design, they can request how they want their stay to be. And we deliver that and we ask before they arrive and make sure that once they stay here, it's a memorable time they're having. Mm -hmm. uh, but right now, we, when we opened Middle Eight, it was always clear that we wanted to do something with music and because of the location, Covent Garden, the opera, the theatres, everything around you, we were always looking for how do we connect and how do we give uh, guests and, and non-residents the experience of having experiencing music within the hotel. Mm -hmm. And it starts from having our DJ in the bar, in Sycamore Bar, on Friday and Saturday nights. Um, there's a live DJ, plays all evening, and people get a real good fun and have a real good party. But it's also about duty. I was speak easy in the, in the basement where currently Leo Green as a residency, it's called QT Presents the Green Room. Leo Green is a famous uh, saxophone player. And we have a 10-piece band and singers, and we are, we are presenting jazz-infused tunes, uh, two shows on those nights. And um, it's really, really fun night, party night, and, and, and people love it. People absolutely love it. But Middle Eight, incidentally, uh, references a, a term. It's a music term, and it references the, um, the break in, in a song. And there are songs with famous middle aids, and, and we've uh, picked up on that. We've got 12 suites in the hotels, and the suites are named after songs with famous, famous middle aids. So there is Sunset, uh, our suite on the sixth floor, has a terrace, a uh, beautiful outdoor space, and it's named after Waterloo Sunset by the Kings, who indeed have a. Uh, the song is known for its middle aid. And there's also a Spotify playlist uh, called Middle Eight Suites. So you can actually reference all 12 suites and, and, and the songs they are related to. We, we do know that it's becoming you know, increasingly common to have social and sustainability programs in place for, for all kinds of hotels to attract. Um, not just guests or, uh, or within the RFP process for big big companies. It's also about you know talent. You know, uh, employees are very much asking, what do you do? You know, how do you support the environment? And, and, and obviously, legislation is, is changing too. Um, mm -hmm. ESG is becoming you know, high on the agenda, and then our industry will have to catch up with that, and it, it becomes and getting more involved because it's not at the forefront necessarily of what we have been doing. The obvious ones are recycling, and we do recycle, um, you know, the separation for, for the various uh, recyclable items. Uh, we don't give anything into landfill. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's a commitment. But we also went a little bit further. And what can we do within the daily operations? And, and, and where are the touch points where, for example, the guests can see what we're doing? So we have toiletries which are in aluminium tubes. So there is no, which is easier recyclable, mm -hmm. and it's no. It's not even just recycled plastic, it's, it's literally aluminium tubes. Um, our bathrobes, wonderful fluffy bathrobes. I mean, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Terry inside, the silk kind of material on the outside. Beautiful, and made from recycled plastic. Yeah? And we're looking at local produce, you know. Our chef is currently just gone. Um, meeting a farmer and uh, looking at the meat and, and seeing how we can more provenance into the menu and how we can look at produce coming from within the local area. I mean, we have an Italian restaurant, it's not always that easy, mm -hmm. but wherever we can, 
we're trying to bring something like that in. And of course, you know, this is going further. We're only at the very beginning. Uh, the, the, the recent pandemic has, has changed things quite dramatically, but we are looking to, to form up our commitment much more and, and, and put, it, you know, put it in writing and, and develop it and um, have something we can as a company commit to. Well, the outlook is positive. I mean, notwithstanding what's uh, happening at the moment in the world and the, the long pandemic, uh, but we see positive signs, business is picking up, bookings are, are, are flying in, uh, overseas and, and UK based. So we are very confident. And ultimately, the, you know, the industry has always been resilient and will continue to be so. So for middle eight, uh, we are positive and uh, will accommodate our guests as they come. We think it's quite important that social media building brand awareness is the key to how people perceive your business and how they determine if they want to connect with it and if they want to be there, which is critical for us to, to edit our feed. We, we want to understand what are people looking for and we want to represent our social media channels accordingly. People need to want to be here and that's driven by what they see on social media unless they hear about it through any other channel but often with social media and that determines if they're interested in, in, in visit your venue. Uh, to give you an example we had recently um, QT speakeasy uh, as a live performance and, and, and we are represented on various social media channels Instagram uh, but also TikTok and uh, against our initial belief we found that TikTok was viewed substantially more and more frequently uh, than, than Instagram and that is something we, we had to learn and adapt to and we're now focusing more on, on that channel for example without forgetting all the other ones because there's different target groups mm. um, there is different groups you generally want to appeal to for different things within the hotel mm. so it could be the hotel itself it could be Sycamorino Cucina or Italian restaurant or as mentioned already QT the Speakeasy which is much more music influenced and lifestyle driven